Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the Bussa Rebellion of 1816. So the Bussa Rebellion was the largest slave revolt in the history of Barbados. The rebellion took its name from the African-born slave Bussa who led the uprising. Although very is little known about Bussa, we do know that he was a ranger at the Bailey Plantation in St. Philip. A ranger was the head officer amongst the enslaved workers on the estate. He would have looked after boundaries and fences and deal with the day-to-day -day business arisings between estates. This meant rangers traveled throughout the area. Bussa planned the uprising with people from different plantations. This included a slave named Jackie who was a driver at the Simmons estate, King Wiltshire, a carpenter also at Bailey's plantation, and Annie Grigg, a literate domestic at the Simmons estate. In 1807, the act to end the slave trade had been passed in Parliament. However, in 1815, the slaves in Barbados thought that they were going to gain their freedom when their governor returned from Guadalupe, which was another island. They believed that he was bringing free paper with him to set them free. However, the Bayesian House of Assembly had discussed and rejected the Imperial Re Registry Bill in November 1815. This bill was to protect illegal importations of enslaved Africans. However, they believed that this bill would have just made their lives more difficult. So with that, the enslaved people began to secretly meet in February to plan the uprising in April. The Bailey Plantation Uprising was led by King Wilshire, Dick Bailey, Johnny, and Bussa. The Simmons Plantations had three leaders, John Grigg, Nanny Grigg, and then Jackie. The planning and organization of the rebellion was accompanied by the propaganda campaign orchestrated by three free deliberate black men, Kane Davis, Roche, and and Richard Sargent. I think I'm saying his last name wrong, so I'm gonna leave it on the screen so you guys can actually um, see how to actually say his name. So David held meetings with the slaves from different coastal plantations where he would coordinate the rebellion plans and share rumors. Sargent mobilized rebels in central parishes. The final day of planning took place in the river plantation on Good Friday night, April 12, 1816. The rebellion started on Easter Sunday night, April 14, 1816. It began with cane fields burning in St. Philip Parish, signaling to the other rebels in central and southern parishes that the rebellion had begun. Neighboring parishes also experienced cane fields burning. In the first days of the rebellion, over 70 estates were affected, forcing white owners and overseers to flee to Bridgetown in the colonial capital. Bussa commanded over 400 men and women against the troops. He was killed in battle and his troops continued to fight until they were defeated by superior firepower. During the rebellion, 50 enslaved people died in the battle, 70 were executed in the field, another 300 were taken to Bridgetown for trial, of which 144 were executed and 132 were sent away to another island. The rebellion was short-lived. Martial law was declared on April 15, 1816. It was suppressed by the local milita and British imperial troops, which included slave soldiers. You know, I would like to say as we wrap this up that a lot of revolutions in the Caribbean was definitely influenced by the Haitian Revolution. And while I will touch on the Haitian Revolution eventually on this channel, I definitely want to say long live Barbados, long live the Bussa Rebellion, long live all our ancestors who had to fight their way to freedom to give us the life that we have today. And so with that, you guys, I would like to say, please subscribe and like my video so we can continue diving into our ancestors' history and exploring their journey to greatness.